Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I've got a tutorial for you on how to set up the HDMI color ranges on your Elgato HD60 or any Elgato product for that matter. I'm going to be showing you this not only so that you can get the best colors possible in your video, like mine here, but also so that you can avoid some of the more common mistakes people make while they're setting up their Elgatos. So this is exactly how my gameplay looks when I capture it. I do a smidgen of color correction, some technical stuff, but this is my raw captured gameplay you're looking at right here coming right out of the Elgato. I'm capturing it, and I think this looks really good. I think the colors are good, the saturation is good, all of the settings are right, the bright and dark levels, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do this, and I'm going to show you a, com a few of the more common pitfalls. Unfortunately, I had to do some work to get here. These are the out-of-the-box color settings on the HD60, and they look pretty Pretty good like this. I used it like this for a little while, but then I realized this is technically incorrect. The colors are actually crushed here because I have my console set to one standard and my Xbox set to a different standard. This can actually cause color crushing. If you look very carefully in the bright and dark areas, you'll notice that they are either brighter or darker than they should be, and they're losing some of the data. So I'm going to show you how to get much better color data out of this for color correcting on your end. The first thing you want to check is to make sure that your HDMI color range is on expanded. I personally recommend expanded but it doesn't really matter it's not such a big deal you can do standard as well but we have to make these match the console so I'm gonna click expanded and hit OK and you're gonna look at this right now and be like oh my gosh drifter what did you do to the colors this kind of looks poopier you just made it worse and uh, one other thing I want to show you, I'm using Xbox One right now, but you can do this on the PlayStation as well when you go to your picture settings. You can check your color space. You can either put it on standard colors or PC RGB. On, con on PlayStation 4, this is labeled expanded uh, HDMI or expanded color range or full color range, but it's PC RGB, expanded full, whatever you want to call it. You want to make sure these two are the same. And again, you're going to tell me, why would you do this? Because it looks kind of gray, washed, bleached. It doesn't look as good. But if you look very carefully like this, you'll notice you actually get more color data out of the dark shadows and out of the bright areas. The background is easier to see, and the shadows in the areas of the map are easier to see. But it does kind of look washed. It's not perfect, so one of the other things we're going to do is we're going to go to our settings, go to picture settings, and I'm going to color correct it to kind of look like that other one. It's going to look pretty similar, not exact. It's not going to be as vibrant. It's going to be really close, though. I'm going to show you my exact settings. Negative 9, 18, 18 on the contrast and saturation. I don't mess with the hue at all. That's 17. And when I hit OK here, you'll notice that it looks almost identical to how it did before, with the exception of the fact that it's easier to see the shadows and the stairs on the left and right-hand sides of the screen, and we retain the background data right there. It looks very, very nice this way, and you have the maximum amount of color data so if you're editing a montage, if you're color correcting, if you're doing anything like that, this will be the prettiest picture you can possibly get. And these are just some things that I wanted to point out. Well guys, that's all for this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you learned how to set up your color ranges and color correction properly on the Elgato. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, leave a comment. You can also check out Elgato's website down there in the description. Follow them on Twitter, or at least say thank you, because this tutorial series is brought to you via Elgato. I'm sponsored by them been working with them for a long time and the cool thing about it is what they want me to do is make the best tutorials possible so that you guys can enjoy their products that's all for this video drifter out